Hello kids, welcome to another fun field lesson on quantitative reasoning. In this lesson, we are going to be looking at test number 14. Test 14. And in test 14, we are going to be looking at three examples. Now let's begin with the first example. Example 1, where we will be making use of multiplication and uh, division multiplication and division now let's look at the picture there's a rectangle with four numbers at the vertices of the rectangle we are going to attempt to find the number 1 over 2 making use of the other three numbers in this example we will make use of division on the left side and the top we will make use of multiplication so let's go to the board first we start with the 2 and the 24 so we say 2 or the number in the 2 position divided by the number in the 24 position so 2 divided by 24 what are we going to get of course 1 over 12 because the, when you divide both sides by 2 you get 1 over 12 so what do we do next we multiply the 1 over 12 by the number 6 on the other side so when we divide by 6 we will get 1 on top and 2 under so that is 1 over 2 1 over 2 so this is how we got the 1 over 2 now we are going to try to find the number 6 or the number in the 6 position making use of the other 3 numbers alright so now let's do this on the board again we are going to start with the 2 and the 24 so we divide the 2 by the 24 so when we divide both sides by 2 of course we are going to get 1 and 12 so that is 1 over 12 1 over 12 now recall that there is a 1 over 2 on the other side so we divide this 1 over 2 by 1 over 12 all right so we have 1 over 2 divided by 1 over 12 we can arrange this again by saying 1 over 2 times 12 over 1 all right 1 over 2 times 12 over 1 when we divide 2 into 2 1 2 into 12 is 6 all right so when you multiply the numerator you get a 6 so it means the result is 6 this is how we get a 6 all right now we have a 2 to get this 2 we must make use of the other numbers all right let's see how we make use of other numbers this time around we are going to start with the 1 over 2 all right now when you divide the 1 over 2 by 6 what you are going to get is 1 over 12 1 over 12 all right now once we have this result this 1 over 12 is multiplied by the 24 on the left side so 12 divide 12 is 1 12 divide 24 is 2 so 1 times 2 will give us a 2 so the result is 2 all right this is how we got the 2 all right finally the last one is 24 on this example we'll make use of the other numbers also now on the board we start with the 1 over 2 now the 1 over 2 is first of all divided by 6 and the result is 1 over 12 1 over 12 now the 2 that is on the left side is now divided by the 1 over 12 
all right so this is the same thing as 2 over 1 times 12 over 1 all right if we rewrite this in the multiplication form we have 2 over 1 times 12 over 1 so when you multiply the numerator 2 times 12 what you get is 24 24 all right so this is how we got the 24 now let's move quickly to the second example in this example we're making use of addition we also use subtraction we use multiplication and of course the opposite of multiplication which is division now let's begin first the picture we have three numbers we are going to make use of plus and times in this example multiplication and addition first let's get the 20 using 8 and uh, the 2 the first thing we do is the addition we add the 2 and the 8 the result of adding 8 and 2 is 10 now we have 10 what do we do this 2 we are going to make use of it a second time so we multiply the 2 by the result which is 10 and then we get a uh, 20 so 2 times 10 is 20 so this is how we get the 20 all right so if we want to get the 8 make use of the 20 and the 2 all right let's go to the board again this time we start with the 20 the next thing we do we divide the 20 by the number 2 well of course the result is going to be 10 all right so once we have our result 10 the next thing we are going to do is to subtract the 2 the same 2 from 10 and that gives us 8 8 so this is how we got the 8 now interestingly this uh, number 2 to get it we have to think of the number instead of solving for the number all right a more complex method of doing it is far beyond this course okay so we are not going to use that method so what do we do now on the board we assume this box represent the unknown number we know that if we add this number to it we will get a certain number this all number we are looking for also when we multiply it by the result we will get a 20 all right we will get a 20 so we have to think of a number one cannot work in this manner so we use a 2 so if you add 2 to 8 you are going to get a 10 all right and when you multiply the 10 by 2 you get a 20 all right so this is why 2 is a missing number all right so this is how we deal with this kind of problem all right so now let's move straight to the next example the next example is example 3 and is the final one we have multiplication and we also have division now let's see how we are going to make use of it first the picture there's a triangle here with four numbers three outside and one inside the 18 that is inside this triangle we can make use of the other three numbers to get it how let's check this out on the board we start with the six and multiply it by the nine well six times nine is 54 54 so this 54 remember there is a 3 beneath the triangle so we have 54 divided by the 3 so 54 divided by 3 gives us 18 18 
This is how we got the 18. All right, now we want to get the 3, making use of the 18 and the 9 and the 6. Again, on the board, we start with the 6 and the 9. 6 times 9, that gives us 54. 54. Now, the 54 divided by the 18. Of course, there are three 18s in 54. So the result of this division is 3. 54 divided by 18 is 3. So this is how we get the 3. Finally, if we want to get the 9 and the 6, we do the same thing. So we are just going to pick one out of them. Now let's say we want to get the 6 making use of the other three numbers. This time we start with the 18 and multiply it by the 3. Well, 18 times 3 gives us 54. 54. Then this 54 is divided by the other number. This time the other number is 9. So 54 divided by 9 gives us 6. 6. This is how we get the 6. Alright? So, I hope you understood everything that was taught. Hope you had fun watching and learning today's class. Do your quiz and your assignments. Your content page quiz is there also. Do them all. Thank you for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye.